Hi there, how are you? So how many times you must be touching your face? Experts say that on an average 15-16 times in an hour we touch our face. Could be nose, could be mouth, could be eyes, could be ears. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is in the context of coronavirus. So whenever we are at public place, definitely our nose and our mouth is uh, covered, taken care by the mask. But what about the eyes? Invariably we must be rubbing our eyes, we may be touching our ears. Now, <laughs> why this is happening? Because that's our habit. Unconsciously, subconsciously, we are in a habit. It's an auto response, some you know, mechanical response. We touch our eyes and we touch our ears. And because of which, we invite coronavirus getting inside us. Yeah, but obvious. So what to do now? What to do now? So how to get over about it? You know? It's very simple. If we remain conscious about it, because whenever we are touching, we are not aware that we are touching. So if we are aware, if we remain aware, we remain conscious, alert, aware, whatever you call it. The three R's, ladies and gentlemen, which I am I'm going to sensitize over here in this context is, first R is reflexes. Reflexes, reactions and the responses. As simple as that. Reflexes are quite deeply ingrained within us when it comes to our body uh, responses. Reflex actions. Let's recall school days. What used to happen in school days? Elementary science, right? Reflex action. Whenever we used to touch any hot surface, you know, we used to zangle through our body, you know, and uh, our, our, our hands are thrown back immediately. That's that's uh, reflex action. Now, reflex action, natural reflex action, it has its own benefits. Definitely, it protects us. It protects our body from dangerous situation uh, by getting uh, damaged. But the flip side, the dark side of this reflex action is we get habituated. We get into a deadly habit. Yeah, look at our body language, especially when you get into an interview. Then after interview we realize, we repent, oh my God, I didn't do this, I didn't do this, I didn't sit here, I didn't sit here, all those things. And maybe at social gatherings, whenever we go to certain events with families, friends, then somebody you know, gives a weird look and then we feel that something is wrong. No, that's what. So we, many times people make fun of you. For example, every now and then, you wave your hand or you, you know, scratch your head or something. Every now and then. Especially when people get you know, uh, depressed, tensed, out of sudden fear, sudden, uh, sudden nervousness. Then you are not aware of it. The tragedy is you are not aware of your body movement, but others are aware of it. That's what it is. So the whole idea is be aware of it and try to convert that subconsciously into consciousness. That's what, you know, being the light. Now, during wakeful, uh, wakeful state, what you need to do is, simple body movements, just try to be aware of it. Now, what's the benefit? Very benefit, as I already told you, you know, it creates certain gap, it creates disidentification and detachment, so we are able to observe it as it is and we will be aware and we will be choosing to not touch or, uh, I mean, touch or to not to touch. The another benefit out of my experience is when you get detached from your body, when you become conscious of your body, when you realize you are not just body but a pure consciousness dwelling in this body, then what happens? You become bodiless. <laughs> that doesn't mean you know uh, your body vanishes or no, it's not. You 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 uh, you feel you know so light. You feel lighter. You become weightless. And also, it doesn't mean that you are hundred kilos. So you will become you know eighty, ninety kilos, or maybe seventy kilos. No. Irrespective of the weight, you will actually overcome the lethargy. Because apna kabza hai is sharir pe. No, we need to give liberation to the body. <laughs> Forget about atma and all those things. But the brain and the body, we need to relieve them. And that it has its own intelligence. You know, I, I have experienced it has amazing, uh, amazing healing capacity. Uh, body has that. So, but provided, but ki you need to uh, give them moksha get detached from it and by you I mean your mindset your thought process your egos your habits your your uh, that automated responses that's what from that you need to free your body and whenever it is required we definitely we use our body we use our brain we, we use it as and when required for example this very phone this very phone you know, uh, it's at certain distance, there is a gap between me and the phone, therefore I can see it and therefore when I can see it, uh, I can take a decision, I can choose, I can control it, I can use it, whatever the way I want. 
but it becomes a great challenge ladies and gentlemen when it comes to uh, our personality our emotions our thought we are that we become that we get so identified no so it, it's basically a hooligan task to disidentify uh, um, from those thoughts from those emotions especially when it uh, hurts our egos so that's the whole sadhana that's the whole work that's the whole uh, spiritual work whatever you call it so what to do it's very simple 25 30 years ago when i had started my spiritual practices i was told to start observing body body movements every move it could be my hand movement my facial expressions it could be uh, gestures postures the way i stand the way i walk the way i eat food everything and it, it it was a challenge because you know when i was alone when i was aware when i was not engrossed into any activity could be intellectual activity maybe thinking or maybe physical activity then i then i used to forget to remember to be self aware then i used to feel guilty kaash mujhe yaad hota tha i would have been aware so, but you need not to feel guilty about it just begin with you know uh, maybe all put together it could be 15 uh, 15 20 seconds maybe few seconds in a day and then later on as you, as you progress it will not percolate uh, during your wakeful state but it will also get into your uh, sleep and dreams also there also you will be conscious reflexes deeply ingrained reactions reactions i call it at the psychological at the mental level you know uh, when it comes to your ego your ego patterns uh, say at public place someone talks negative about you tries to insult you what happens we react and we react in an approach of tit for tat tune mujhe aise kiya ab main tujhe nahi chhodunga main tabhi ki tabhi jawab dunga whatever it is some people have different habits they will control they will suppress they will mull it over and they at right time they think you no know, they will uh, give a lesson they will teach a lesson that's again a habit you no know, uh, that is in fact words better you <laughs> you respond then and there but now coming to the response the reaction is out of your egos it is unconscious activity now the third r is the response you know, response in the response the degree of consciousness i i perceive is slightly higher when it comes to your reflex actions and your reactions in response response responsibility and ability to respond if you are in the present see to respond you need to be in the present it means which means you need to be free from your past and maybe your you know your uh, your images which design which talks about your your future which imagination imagination image one thing okay so reaction and reflection is always from the past from the memory but response needs to happen in the present moment so when you respond you 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 have a choice because you can see things clearly as they are so you have a choice whether to respond uh by vocal response or could be uh, just remaining silent whatever it is and you smile so you are no more slave to it you see you are no more slave to your habits your reflexes your reactions you are a free bird so benefits are humongous as we already discussed because the situation is as such we get so much into our work we get tense we forget there is a lot of things in our head you know it's occupied with a lot of clutter so our hands go here and there and we unintentionally without knowing unknowingly because we are unconscious so we 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 increase the rate of infection the contamination of coronavirus but when you are aware when you are self aware you are alert you are awake you will you will be more careful do take care thank you very much i love you all